This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. So this is second and long here. So bringing a little bit of pressure. Um, didn't do the greatest job of keeping a quarterback in the pocket, um, but we did a great job taking his first read away. Um, that was that was Doc Rogan. So it turns into a scramble drill, and we practice this every single day. So quarterback gets out of the pocket. Um, you know, we got to glue to receivers, and then guys who are underneath zone coverage, guys they gotta they gotta go get the quarterback when he escapes the pocket. So um, Cam's kind of uh, coasting a little bit here, uh, kind of feeling out where where the nearest receiver is, looking to uh, match on somebody, feel somebody else go up and get that. I think that's uh, D Ford actually goes up to the quarterback there. And uh, Cam takes a really nice drop right underneath the uh, the receiver right there. I'm lining up, looking at the quarterback. I see the uh, I see the guy across my face, and in, in my periphery, I see him coming back around me. And I see the quarterback start rolling out, so I start rolling with him. Uh, I didn't think he, I really didn't think he was going to throw the ball, but I took a peek over my shoulder and I seen the receiver still still rolling the same way. And he ended up, the quarterback ended up rolling back out uh, to my way and he ended up throwing it. And I took it out there. Now I was giving him some, some, uh, some ha havoc here about not putting his foot in the ground and going and scoring a touchdown. Oh, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's a different feeling. Like I gotta, I gotta get this. I gotta, I gotta make this play. This the, this the play. This the plays that professionals make and I gotta make it if I want to be a professional. Because um, you know, in our defense, it's not good enough just to score a touch or just to get an interception. We want to score touchdowns too, but uh, we'll take the ball back there. You know, when you got an explosive offense like ours, anytime we can get it back to them, get them another possession, uh, especially in good field position there, uh, that's big time there. But great job by Cam getting underneath that there and making the catch. It feel, it, it always feels good just to get that first pick out the way because you could really go a whole season just without, you know, you get opportunities with just without getting any picks. But that first one is just, it's just, it's just like a take, a take the load off you. You know, I think that's, that's always a big deal. You, you see a lot of people drop interceptions. You got to make those catches when you get those opportunities. That's the, that's kind of the, that's kind of the best part. You just got all the fans right there, just, just cheering you on and yelling and stuff. This one's is a first play uh, of the series. Um, so you know there were some tendencies and whatnot of. Um, you know, when they were going to run some play action passes. So we had some specific uh, blitzes that we were going to use there. So right here, we're bringing, we're bringing uh, Cam and Shamari off the edge right there based off their formation. Um, you know, and then we do a really good job there. Ethan Castleberry is the, he's the, he's the deep player right there, uh, playing a little bit of, little bit of uh, uh, deep coverage right there with some underneath guys helping out. Cam makes a really good job. They got the tight end blocking Cam. Um, he does a really good job getting off that thing. I got past the tight end. Uh, the running back didn't pick me up. I, I saw the quarterback. I was going to uh, hit the ball out, but I, I didn't think I really had time. So I just I just tried to hit him as hard as I could so he can mess the throw up. We practice this every single day when you're free to the backside of the quarterback, or you can see Cam's hand, right hand go to uh, hit the ball, which you know I don't think he specifically hits the ball, but he makes great contact with the quarterback. Um, and then you know that it ended up just being like a like a punt back there to, to Castleberry who was on top of the on top of the route like it should be and uh, great job there and then again I was giving him a hard time about uh, about not not going and scoring right there. I was hoping one of my DBs could at least get the ball after the uh, bad pass and my boy my boy is where he needed to be. When you hear the uh, stone cold glass shatter. Game, oh, that's the best. Yeah, that's the best. Uh, you know, we uh, we practice that in practice too of uh, you know getting getting the best out at least once a week. You know, because we, we do get we do do get quite a few take backs against our our, our look team, um, so we can't do it every time we get a we get a take back. But um, you know, we, we get that practiced and the, the, the guys have fun with it. You know, I think some of them are, are a little too young to know who Stone Cold is. So we had to you know beginning of the year we always do a little educational session of, of really who Stone Cold is and what, what he's about. So that's a, a good deal. This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering.